dear President Bush, I kissed my son goodbye today. He is a 21-year-old Marine. You have ordered him to Saudi Arabia. The letter telling us he was going arrived at our vacation cottage in northern Wisconsin by express mail on August 13th. We left immediately for North Carolina to be with him. As I sat in my motel room, watching you on television, looking through my son's hastily written last will and testament, and listening to the military equipment rumbled past, you seem to me to be both callous and ridiculous, chasing golf balls and zipping around in your boat in Kennebunkport. While visiting my son, I had an opportunity to see him try on his body armor and his chemical weapons gear. I don't know if you've ever had this experience, Mr. President. I hope you never will. I also met many of my son's fellow soldiers. They're fine young men. A number told me that they were from poor families. They enlisted because it was their only opportunity for a college education. None of the young men I met are likely to be invited to serve on the board of directors of the Savings and Loan, as your son Neil was. And none of them have parents that are well enough connected to call or write a general to ensure that their son stays out of harm's way, as Vice President Quayle's parents did for him during the war in Vietnam. Where were you, Mr. President, when Iraq was killing its own people with poison gas? Why, until the recent crisis, was it business as usual with Saddam Hussein, the man you now call Hitler? You were elected vice president in 1980 on the strength of a better life for America in a world where the United States would once again stand tall. The Reagan-Bush administration rolled into Washington talking about the magic of a free market in oil. You diluted gas mileage requirements. You dismantled federal energy policy. And now, you've ordered my son to the Middle East. For what? Cheap gas? Is the American way of life that you say my son is risking his life for the right of Americans to consume 25 to 30 percent of the Earth's oil? The free market to which you are so fervently devoted, carries a very high price tag for families like mine. As my wife and I sat in a little cafe outside of our son's base last week, choking back tears, trying to eat, a young Marine struck up a conversation with us. And as we parted, he wished us well and said, may God forgive us for what we are about to do. President Bush, the policies you have advocated for the last decade have led to military confrontation in the Persian Gulf. Your response to the Iraqi conquest of Kuwait has set in motion events that will increasingly pressure you not to defend Saudi Arabia, but to attack Iraq. And I'm afraid that as that pressure mounts, you will gamble my son's life in an attempt to secure your political future. In the past, you have demonstrated no enduring commitment to any principle except the advancement of your political career. This makes me doubt that you have either the courage or the character to find a peaceful solution to this crisis. If, as I fear, you eventually order American forces to attack Iraq, then it is God who will have to forgive you. I will not.